Hi guys, we're going to learn how to apply implicit differentiation to find the derivative of a function. Let's begin. We have here an equation in implicit form. So we know that it's in implicit form because we have like a mix of variables in the equation. And it's not gonna be too friendly to try to solve for y. So there we, therefore, we just go ahead and differentiate as it is. That's why it's called implicit differentiation. Now, how do we do that? We have to remember that the y is gonna be a representation of a function in terms of x. So whenever we differentiate y, we are differentiating a function. Therefore, we have to like inform that we're doing that. So in terms of the steps to follow, whenever we differentiate y, it's like writing a last name, and the last name is gonna be dy dx. After that, we just go ahead and differentiate using the rules of differentiation we have learned so far. So let's begin. So for x squared, the derivative of x squared is gonna be 2x plus, we have a plus here, and we have a product, i x times y. So we have, we use the product rule. So the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. So x times the derivative of y, the derivative of y is one, but we, use, we put the last name, the y dx. First name and last name. So the first times the derivative of the second plus the second, times the derivative of the first. And the derivative of x is one, so there's no need to write the one here, so we can write just y. Minus the derivative of y squared. The derivative of y squared, which is gonna be two y, and we put the last name, dy dx, equal to the derivative of four, which is zero. Now we have the, that we have differentiated all the terms here. So we need to say explicitly what dy dx is gonna be, okay? So the, I'm going to suggest the following steps. The first step, we differentiate. The second step, we're going to group the like terms. So we have some terms that have the y dx and some terms that they don't know, they don't have it. So we're going to group them. Then after that, we're going to factorize and then divide. So let's go ahead and do that. We have the derivative, then we're going to group the like terms. So we have these two as like terms. So I'm gonna write it here, x dy dx minus two y dy dx, and I'm going to subtract the two x, and I'm going to subtract the y, okay? So differentiate, then group, grouping. Then I have too many dy dx, I would like only to have one. So what do we do? We factorize. So I'm gonna take as a common term, the common factor, dy dx. So I'm left here with x minus two y equal to minus two x minus y. Okay, and I need to solve for the y dx, so I'm going to divide by x minus two y. So this is it. We have that the y dx is gonna be equal to minus two x minus y over x minus two y. And here we have the derivative for this equation. 